Nitro beat Razo before. Uh, wait a minute. What happened to Nico? And uh, Nico lost to Nitro in winners, and Razo, from what I was told, lost to Arrow in winners. So both of these players. Um, oh yeah, Nitro beat Nico in winners, and Razo, and of course Nitro lost to I'm Hit in winners. Nico's streak is ended by who though? I don't, I don't, I want to know who Nico lost to. I, I don't know actually. I want to. That's what I want to know. Obviously he's not here. I don't see him. So, so he's, he just left. He's not really gonna do this. Yeah. He's not. I, I know he doesn't like this character. Oh my god, is he really gonna do it? You tell me, Razo really picked up. He picked up Richter to deal with Nitro and Richter after losing to him. I was gonna say, like, I talked to Razo back at oh a. So, oh my god. god. They, they knew, they knew. Like, hey man, we'll just toss this holy water in the neutral right now and see what goes. He's gonna make us count to Richter Diddles. Where do I even start with this? They're both just throwing things at each other. Over and over. Can you blame him? That's what the character does. Yeah, but now we're doing it against himself. Why am I watching this? I don't know, man. <laughs> Razo, I don't know, man. Razo actually really... This was, his, his, this was his game plan. This was his answer to to Nitro's uh, Richter. Since he already lost to him before with Daisy. I was so happy to go home at 12. Like, <laughs> 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 I had plans and everything. So I guess we were wrong about Razo wanting us all to go home early. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie. I agree with you. But hey, man. Either way, this is what's kind of going down for Razo. And Razo's kind of... Showing up that he is the better Richter main so thus far against Nitro. Still has yet to be fully determined here, but Raza. I don't know. Raza's down in stock already. Is he? Oh, yeah. I didn't even see the stock go away. See, see this is why we can't play no diddles, man. You can't even tell which one is which, dude. Bro, this is ridiculous. This, this zoning is like OD. I've never seen levels of like projectiles being flung in this moment right now. But it's okay. Shout out to Nitro for getting that that was his own, uh, for getting that that was Razo's only, what's that, what is that thing with, is that cross? Which one? The, the side B. Yeah, it's cross. Side B is cross, neutral B is axe, and then down B is holy water. Oh, okay. Imagine having a cross as like a projectile, boomerang. Yeah, like, so it's, it's how it works in its own Castlevania game. Which, which Castlevania is Richard from? Uh, Rondo of Blood and Symphony of the Night. Two? Yeah, Symphony of the Night is the sequel to Rondo of Blood. In Rondo of Blood, he fights the priest named Shaft. I have no idea why they call him Shaft. <laughs> but, uh... All I, th all I thought about when you said Shaft is Sandro Jackson. <laughs> That's all I was gonna say, like, nah, bro, it's not that Shaft. Um, he fights Shaft, and then, uh, the direct sequel to it, no spoilers intended if you haven't played Rondo of Blood. Um, is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. They're all named after sonnets in music, if I'm not mistaken. So, Lament of Innocence, um, Symphony of the Night, Rondo of Blood. Those are all musical references in the Castlevania wow, I'm series. So glad you know all I'm, I'm a huge video game nerd, bro. <laughs> I've been playing Castlevania for a long time before any other player could start saying they were a fan of it. Let's go into the game. <laughs> I mean, if you got more Castlevania questions, man, I'll answer for you. I want to know if uh, in any Castlevania, Richter loses to himself this badly. Um, in one of them, you can fight another Richter. It's kind of weird in Symphony of the Night. I won't spoil how that happens, but yeah, you can fight another. Richter can fight Richter. Actually, all of these moves that Richter has, most of them, are either based off of Castlevania 4 or Symphony of the Night. Like, Richter's dash attack. His down tilt and his up B are all from Symphony of the Night. They're actually manual inputs, so you have to input them like Super Street Fighter. That's kind of hilarious. Yeah. Thank God they didn't do that in this game, because that would have been ridiculous. Yeah, that would have been really accurate, though. Yeah, it, it would have. I would have gotten so much praise. Maybe not. I mean, he already, he already has enough praise. Oh, that down that smash. down smash whipped the hell out of Razo. Razo, I think it's time to go Daisy. That was going to say, I was going to say. The experiment was okay. Like, we learned what we need to learn. Which is basically, don't do this. Oh, yeah, what happened to Charlie? What the heck? I don't know what happened to Charlie. Don't ask me, man. <laughs> <laughs> he just said, like, I got rocked. And then he left. Charlie, Charlie, what'd you lose to? He said he went Lucina and Losers. Oh, he went Lucina and Losers. Okay, I was going to say. Big out. Big out. Big oof. That's what I'm 818, getting bopped. Charlie's from the San Gabriel Valley, man. What's I. 
IE reign supreme, man. IE is taking over all of these tournaments. Yeah, they are. They took over WNF last time we checked. Man, I thought, don't sleep on the IE, man. What happened? Never, I never thought, sleep I thought we on the IE, dude. I thought we learned this. All right, that's why Rousey was back on the stage, bro. He's not. He's done sleeping on Nitro. You gotta respect this guy's name and his name. Oh, geez. formerly I, known as Orochi Wolf. Yeah, Nitro now. We don't. We don't go by Orochi Wolf anymore. That was way too, uh, you know, edgy. Now we're Nitro. I thought Phoenix's name was also fine, but he changed it to Serpent. Yeah, we just so, we just ignore that. We just ignore that and keep calling him Phoenix. I like that. I was gonna say like, Phoenix, I like to change the name, man. I actually liked it. I thought it was a great name. But anyways, let's just go into it. I wonder why Razo uh, didn't want to go with Daisy in this match. Probably just to see the ditto. I mean, it could be a sense of pride, but now I feel like Razo should have just gone rid of his pride and say, you know, just go Daisy, man. Who cares about the ditto? You guys can money match the ditto any other day of the week. I don't know. I mean, I... Oh, oh my oh, god. My. Damn. Oh my Okay, that was, that, that was close. That was close. That jump? What did he even jump off of? Did he just say he jumped that whole time? Dang, that was nuts. But anyway, yeah, he lost really badly last time he was Daisy. I think he got 3 0 in like a two star game or something like that. So maybe he just got discouraged to go his name, but I think he should just figure it out. This, this Daisy is definitely his best point by far. Oh, All right, another man. Another one. He up two stocks now. Rouse looking great as soon as he switches to Daisy. To the surprise of no one. Okay. So far, Nitro looking for a little bit of spacing, but it's not going to come out to play. I like how Rouse just getting the float here. Comes out with a down air. Nitro setting up the axe. One of those things the axe can do is cover the, the aerial options that Daisy has. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out his moves that he has a big enough to hit. Uh, it's they're, so they're not all that fast. Most of them seem to start from the fastest I can think of is straight eight. But that back air, man, gonna send Daisy away. Exit stage right, please. Dude, that just looks so funny. He's just like, oh no, that's oh, it, that's oh, it. Oh, Actually, I want to say Nitro could have gone for up air. Up air still counts as a tether when you're below the stage. Yeah, that was a very amateur play from Nitro. Yeah, I'm forgetting how to use his own tether recovery. Okay. Why, why are you roasting the man, dude? <laughs> why is he being roasted by you? What a rookie mistake that was. Oh, man, we'll take it. Why are you gonna roast this man? We will we'll we'll take it him. if we like Peach in this in this house. I gotta roast the man, dude. I'm roasting. He knows that I say everything I say out of out of love. So it is, good. Yeah, your, your tone of voice don't sound like love. <laughs> I just want people to you know be good. So I have to nah, just be every, Zan, dude. Just call be Zan. everything they say. Or everything they do, I can just call be, out and say how bad it is. Just be Zan, man. Get everybody you can an L. Get well. Get better soon card. No, he ran out. That goes to show you how many bad players there are. Hey, bad. I didn't get one. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I never got one, bro. So you can't have anything to do on me. But we'll see what Arouse can prove against Nitro here in Game Three. Yo, this is the stage that Nitro won on. I think for some reason he got to play on this stage twice when he beat Nitro or uh, Rosal. He got to he beat him on here once, then like got to kind of take the stage back. And uh, this had something to do with there being no DSR. But uh, I can see right now the platforms are actually very good. Yeah. Like, look, look at everybody trying whoa, to. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What was that up tilt? No, he, went, he did the get up up tilt from uh, Daisy. But uh. I don't know, I look at the way the platforms are like laid out here. There's very few places that Robin can run to like get away from the projectiles. Yeah. Not only that, like he has to worry about like going through the projectiles to actually get to Nitro, right? That's yeah, that situation if it would have been no no platforms, Raza would have gotten in. Yeah. It also helps with Nitro that the axial screw project or the platform. Yeah, oh um, the downer into up and we'll do it. Immediately, Nitro finally ever gonna play here. All right, neutral air, kind of sense of the high recovery, and no counter for Razo. Another neutral air, Nitro kind of feeling himself out in battlefield. Yeah, it's a really good counter pick right now for uh, Nitro. Gets the forward air into Axe. Razo not getting the, the counter there. I know some people might be wanting to see a repeat of WNF where it was Razo versus Iron Hit, but Nitro's doing a pretty good job to make sure he gives Razo a fight of his life. 
Yeah, that's what at this point they all like play each other enough in bracket that they're familiar with how each person plays. Like, oh, I like it. Since the higher option there coming off from Razo. That's the thing about the axe, right? That Razo kind of has to consider, especially with the platforms that like you said. The axe goes through platforms, so Razo kind of has to consider each time he picks and chooses in each battle. Yeah, this is really rough for him, I say. Nice, covers the recovery with the cross and the side beat. Oh, counter and the shield wow, and good. What a play. That was pretty smart. I would have never thought to do that. That was great. But okay. he's still down a, a whole stock. Pretty much. Razzle kind Honestly, of playing safe. I don't can bring this back. This is a combo. Yeah. I mean, it, it's going to be hard getting it in the first place to land that, but it's possible. Oh, I like it. DI the hit. You can actually DI the down air away when you get hit, just so you don't even have to worry about the up beat, but then you can probably do a fair. Oh, I'm missing the up air. Razor reset the back of the quarter. I was trying to get something started here, but. I chose is very difficult to hit when he's throwing all these projectiles everywhere. And it's not even just a projectile, it finally has like a super long range whip. On top of having a really good zoning game, yeah. it's very hard to get down this character. There's that forward air and able to take it. So far, Nitro doing a pretty solid lead here. Battlefield looking like a great pick. Razo tries to go in with a down air. Alright, nice. He's get back there, trying to force him into a bad spot. No. Oh. oh! Caught him when he was trying to reel into the ledge. Dang, that was a really good snipe. Razo bringing him right back into this game to just take his 2-1, actually. Could be the comeback of the, the night right now. Yeah, so far, looking like that's the opportunity that Razo has here. Pulls up the turnip. Looking for any opportunity to get in. Gets in with the Daisy Bomber. Like it stays afloat. Able to get a grab here into back air. Razo's making solid plays here. So far, just kind of playing it safe. And I like the fact that he respects that Nitro's on a platform. Wants to hold onto the stage for control just a little longer. Oh, Smart stuff here. Oh, oh, that was super close. He just jumped at that part. Are there a uh, number of people? Oh, that's it. No, that uh, you can do it. You can grab backwards, but still, he's like at a terrible spot. Yeah, oh, no like worries. Oh, he just waited for the double jump and then just smacked him in the face. Robert goes up 2 1. That hard counter kick not working out this time for Nitro. Yeah, that, man. that comeback was crazy. Not gonna lie, it really, really was, dude. Razo just kind of took away a lot of the momentum that Nitro has, and it all came down to the fact that he was able to snipe him during the tether. So, the edge guard can do it. Yeah, dude, that's kind of where, like, Daisy's able to excel, right? Like, the minute she has Ricker off the stage, like, the edge guard for game for her is pretty phenomenal. It's kind of what makes this character in the running for top tier. In my opinion, I feel like she's top tier, but yeah, I've yet to have seen. I have no reason to think that she's anything but top five. Yeah. Oh, oh man, that looking like a top five play right now because Razo coming out really strong opening. Yeah, starting it off with a jab block, that's a pretty big statement to make, especially when it's potentially, you know, final game for Nitro in this tournament. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Oh, oh no. He couldn't get the upper reach long enough for the speed. Yeah, that fast fall is very, very bad for Nitro, man. Alright, nice. We're getting some solid percent here as the cross returned. Okay. Trying to find a way to zone out Razo right here. Need to make something happen. He's not going to roll in on that. These are good hits, though. Razo is still seemingly playing a little bit too aggressive. You know he has a lead. But right now, he's just being punished. He needs to find a clean opening and then go from there instead of forcing that situation to happen. Oh, did he catch the Oh, jump? there it is. What the? All oh right, my God. Razo, you're on another level, man. Bro, his side B snipes are so good, dude. Do they make that move stronger, dude? Because, like, I don't know, man. I don't think for people to know to just side B people with a blast something like that, dude. I mean, that clean. It, it's crazy, too, because Razo was, like, a top top three, top five peach back in Smash 4. So, him, Slayers, and Sora were known as some of the best peaches out there. Yeah, still they are. Still they are. Yeah. That was nuts, though. I can't believe that combo. It looks like it did. Down there side to be on stage. Back throw. All right. Nitro finally having some moment with stage control oh. and that axe able to stop what Razo. A snipe. That was snipe indeed. Super big snipe. They're coming out. Nitro is still in a terrible position. Razo has all the stage control. No percent taken. Stock lead. 
I'll hold this turn up and hopefully you're gonna oh hold this L and goodness. not gonna be able to get it. Oh my god, what almost got it. it. Almost got another guy on the platform too. That's a cross. Oh, there's a confirm coming out from Nitro. Just goes for the holy water quick forward smash. Not gonna kill, but Ruzzle at this point just wants percent to finally get an opportunity to make a comeback. Yeah. But he also needs neutral exchanges to win as well. So he can find a little bit more of those. Also, we're going to do really this spot right here. You can play as soon as he wants, and then the next big hit will lead to the stock, I feel. Yeah, well, there's not a big hit, but a solid play here. Oh, Charles off the turn up. I like it. Went for the immediate counter there. It's probably sensing the uppy. Okay. Sucks him out here. He's trying to make a comeback here on the ground. Rosalo, he's staying floating in the air. He's not able to get the big sets. That was a super rope up B. I don't think he expected that to hit, honestly. Yeah, Rosalo.